Welcome to Panhandle PBS's Savor the Goods at Home. I am Ruth Landelius and I'm from Black Fig Food and today we are going to make some Vietnamese summer rolls. With warm weather around the corner, it's a good time to start working on some summer dishes for you to enjoy. You want to get all your ingredients laid out and prepared, cut the way it's supposed to be cut so that you the process of getting it together is a lot easier. The ingredients I'm going to be using today are as follows. Vermicelli noodle, this is the dry, this is what it looks like when it's dry, but after I've cooked it, it almost looks like a, a, like a spaghetti noodle. Chopped lettuce, and you could use any sort of dark leafy green. Carrot ribbons that I've made, and I'm gonna show you how to make those. A little bit of cilantro, a little bit of mint, and sliced cucumber, and purple cabbage. When you're preparing your vegetables for the summer rolls, I've got a few tips that can help you with the carrot, but since we're at home, we gotta make do with what we've got. So I'm gonna show you how to make the ribbons, and I'm also gonna show you a trick on the cucumbers. What you're gonna do is put your carrot down on the cutting board flat, and I've got just a regular potato peeler, and I'm gonna go right across and just create these ribbons like so. Now with the cucumber, I like to take the seeds out, kind of get rid of some of that extra moisture inside the vegetable. So I'm gonna cut off the ends, slice it in half lengthwise, and then I'm gonna get a spoon, and you see all those seeds? You're gonna grab your spoon and just carefully scoop them out. And I'm then going to show you how to make a really delicious peanut sauce to go with the Vietnamese summer rolls. Before I get started on the summer rolls, I wanna do the peanut butter sauce first. So what we're gonna do is add the half a cup of peanut butter into a small mixing bowl. You don't really need a, a big one for that. The chili garlic sauce, the tablespoon of maple syrup, two tablespoons of the soy sauce, lime juice, and I'm going to add a fourth a cup of water to get it loosened up. Once you have all of your ingredients chopped up and ready to go, you're going to grab one of the rice paper sheets and using your faucet in the sink, you're going to put it to a little warm water and slowly rotate the sheet underneath the faucet and that'll get it nice and soft. And you don't wanna to go too long with it because when you set it down on the cutting board, it's going to loosen up with the residual water stuck to it. So once you've got that down on the cutting board, now it's time to assemble. The first thing I like to add are the colorful parts of the ingredients and that's going to be my purple cabbage, a few of the carrot ribbons, and then I add the cilantro, and then a little bit of cucumbers, and about a tablespoon and a half of the nudes. <laughs> noodles, and a huge handful of your chopped lettuce, and then a sprinkling of crushed peanuts. Now, now that I've got it stuffed, I'm going to flip over on each side of the roll, and then come to the bottom, wrap that around, grab it, pull it back, and begin with the rolling. For more recipes like today, you can follow me on Facebook at Black Fig Food, or you can reach me at my website, blackfigfood.com, and sign up for my weekly email, which is always loaded with lots of fun stuff and recipes to try. For more content like this, you can follow your local PBS station and consider donating to Panhandle PBS.